Bokeh Tov Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benun, you're watching Israeli News Live. The news is breaking this morning that Billy Graham has passed away. Uh, this is something that, I, of course, he's, I should say he's lived a very long life. He was 99 years old. Uh, he was heavily involved in politics, advising many, many presidents uh, during his lifetime. And, of course, just spearheaded revivals years ago there. And I know there's different views about Billy Graham, uh, all types of views out there. And I'm not here to discuss that here, but just to speak about that uh, he has actually passed away today. Uh, no doubt his family grieving and uh, for the loss of a, of a man that has impacted uh, not only the United States, but the world itself. Uh, so no, he will be certainly missed by his family and his loved ones there as he leaves behind this legacy. Uh, kind of reminds me as well, back in 2013, I did this video here called Billy Graham Dies Just Before the Rapture. Uh, and that was a kind of an odd video at the time because the reason why I did it was because what was said to me uh, in a dream that I'd had. I'd woke up like three o'clock in the morning and in this dream I had seen people were preparing for a rapture and uh, someone had walked up to me and said, Billy Graham will die just before the rapture. Uh, you know, I've always had different thoughts on things like this. I don't normally get involved in rapture very often. I do find in the Old Testament there is a, a prophecy that speaks about where God would hide his people. Uh, but it's before his wrath uh, is what I've always noticed there. And I know that sometimes that people think that uh, it'll, you know, that it's, well, I, I won't even go into the different views that are out there. I respect the different sides. I know there's pre-trib, post-trib, mid-trib, and every other kind. I've always been of the mind that anytime he wants to come, I'm always for that there. Uh, but that's what happened in the dream, and that's why I titled it thus, was because um, someone came up to me and said that to me. Uh, in the dream that Billy Graham will die just before the rapture. Uh, so very interesting to see that these, these events. And of course, I've always thought about Billy Graham and Oral Roberts. They were kind of the two big pioneers back in their day. Oral Roberts of, from the Pentecostal side and Billy Graham from more of the uh, conservative side, the Baptist side uh, of thinking there. And of course, now both of these men have left the scene. And it really lets you know that we are certainly in a tumultuous time uh, when you see some of the, the two of the pioneers, uh, and of course there's many others uh, before them as well, and even during their times as well. So I don't want to uh, not say that there weren't, there were many great pioneers uh, 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 in, in revivals and healing campaigns, et cetera that went on uh, during that time. But they were the two most prominent in the media, you might say, that uh, the world really knew strongly about. And so with Billy Graham passing away now, uh, that definitely lets us know that we, have, uh, we are leaving that era and entering into a very, very troubling time. Uh, and that can certainly be said because what's happening in the world right now and the threat of war, and of course this article coming out on RT News here, uh, the North Korea's murderous regime refused to meet Pence and hear U.S. ultimatum, uh, we're about to head into a nuclear war. So if there was ever a time where the entire world does need to be hidden away, it'll be a such a time as that, a global thermonuclear war. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom, and God bless you in a world of Ain Shalom. There is no peace.